Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have seen the equivalent circuit of transformer and some concept related to per unit. Now in this lecture we will solve the previous year gate problem based on equivalent circuit concept as well as per unit concept. So let's get started. See the first problem. A voltage V is equal to 400 sine omega t is applied to a single phase transformer on no load that means i2 is equal to 0 it is given if the no load current of the transformer is this much then magnetization branch impedance will be approximately equal to what now if you will see the transformer no load equivalent circuit means the no load equivalent circuit will be something like this this is the parallel branch r naught this is x naught and this I naught is flowing here and this is the supply voltage okay this is the no load equivalent circuit here the secondary side is open circuit means no current will flow here so V is applied that is equal to 400 sine 314.60 and I am getting I naught is equal to 2 sine 314.60 minus 85 degree so what is the equivalent impedance that is the magnetization branch impedance we have to find so equivalent impedance is nothing but v upon i okay so write down in phasor it will be equal to 400 at an angle of 0 and this will be equal to 2 at an angle of minus 85 so it will be 400 at an angle of 0 and 2 at an angle of minus 85 this 400 is maximum value we have to take the rms value but here voltage if you will take in rms value it will be 400 by root 2 and if you will take i naught as rms value so 2 root 2 by root 2 so root 2 root 2 will get cancel out that's why i'm taking like this so finally you are getting 200 at an angle of 85 degree this is the equivalent impedance that is the magnetization branch impedance at no load we are finding so option c is correct see the second question a second question is saying a 10 kva 400 volt by 200 volt single phase transformer with 10 percent impedance now see this impedance is given in per unit this is the 0 0.1 per unit this is the equivalent impedance either in primary or secondary because per unit impedance of transformer in primary as well as in secondary are same okay that we derived in the previous lecture so equivalent impedance that is equal to 10 percent draws a steady state short circuit line current we have to find the short circuit line current what is the value of line current see first draw the transformer this is the transformer okay and i am representing this jpu on the secondary side you can represent on the primary side also no problem but i am representing on secondary side that is equal to 0 0.1 per unit got it this voltage is having 400 volt and this voltage is having 200 volt now it is saying that draws a steady state short circuit line current means if i will short circuit this terminal then what will be the value of current i2 now to find the current i2 in per unit what you have to know you have to know the value of e2 in per unit as well as the value of z per unit now this is 200 volt that is the rated volt okay so e2 in per unit will be equal to 200 by 200 means rated value is 200 and we are applying 200 volt as a uh, e2 also so it will be equal to 1 per unit so it will be 1 by z per unit that is equal to 0 0.1 that is equal to 10 per unit and we derived in the previous lecture that per unit parameter of transformer either in primary or secondary will remain same okay so we have to find the i1 what is saying the steady state short circuit line current means we have to find the i1 in ampere so what will be the value of i1 in per unit i1 in per unit must be equal to i2 in per unit that we have derived in the previous lecture that is equal to 10 per unit okay and this is equal to i1 in ohm upon i rated okay and rated current on primary side i can easily find i1 rated is equal to what is the kv rated that is 10000 upon v rated v rated on the primary side is 400 
so it will be equal to 25 ampere that means current i1 see this is in ampere not in ohm so i1 in ampere will be equal to i1 per unit that is 10 multiplied by rated current that is equal to 25 so it will be equal to 250 ampere so option c is correct now most of the guys will find i2 okay so i2 you will get that is equal to 500 ampere okay but here it is saying that draw a steady short circuit line current short circuit line current means supply we are giving here so line current will be equal to the supply current okay so we have to find the i1 in ampere that is equal to 250 ampere got it only you have to know the concept this the per unit value of any transformer parameter will be same in primary as well as in secondary if if you know this concept then you can easily deal with this kind of problem see the next problem a three phase transformer has rating of 20 mva 200 kv star delta with leakage reactance of 12 percent the transformer reactance in ohm refer to each phase of low voltage side what is saying suppose this is a star connected and this is delta connected and this is a star delta transformer having rating value 20 mva and line voltage is given that is 200 kv by 33 kv okay and per unit reactance is also given and we have to find the transformer reactance to each phase of lv side lv side is delta connected so we have to find the transfer uh, this this reactance value in ohm so what we derived in the previous lecture that is z per unit is equal to z in ohm into mva upon kvk square considering that this all value must be per phase value okay so what we have to find we have to find the z in ohm means x per unit is given and we have to find the x in ohm multiplied by per phase mva upon per phase kvk square now we have to find the value of x in ohm where on delta side so x in ohm will be equal to x per unit multiplied by per phase voltage square by per phase mva so it will be equal to 0 0.12 multiplied by per phase voltage across delta side line voltage will be equal to the uh, phase voltage so it will be equal to 33 k square upon mva rating is 20 and per phase mva will be equal to 20 by so finally I am getting 19.6 ohm okay so option B is correct suppose in the question it is asked that you have to find the transformer reactance referred to high voltage side that means refer to a star side so how will you find you can easily find x in ohm will be equal to x per unit we know that per unit value in primary as well as in secondary are equal we know these things so uh, we are finding uh, the reactance of transformer on a star side okay so 0 0.12 multiplied by per phase voltage on a star side line voltage is 200 kv so per phase voltage will be equal to 200 by root 3 k square okay and per phase mva is 20 by 3 so it will be equal to 0 0.12 multiplied by 200 square by 20 that is equal to 240 ohm so you can see that although the actual value of reactance on the primary and secondary are different but per unit value of reactance on the primary and secondary are same got it so these things you have to keep in mind while solving questions based, based on per unit concept so that's all about this lecture see you in the next lecture